Greetings, I'm Squared, and we're going to find solutions um, of quadratic functions if we're given a graph. So keep in mind, a solution is the same thing as an x-intercept. You'll also hear words, the words roots or zeros used to describe the same thing. So solutions, roots, zeros, or x-intercepts, they all mean the same thing. So if you're given a graph and you're trying to find the solutions, you just look at the x-axis and figure out what, where the parabola, where the graph is crossing the x-axis. So if we look here, it crosses at 2 and at 4, so our solutions are 2 and 4. Over here, it just crosses once. It crosses right there at 3, so our solutions to this graph are 3. And here you'll notice that it never quite makes it to the x-axis. So before you learn about complex roots, we say this has no solution. Now, even though you learn about complex roots, it still doesn't mean that it crosses the x-intercept, but there are some roots that we can use when we solve um, using the quadratic formula. But when you're graphing, if it doesn't cross the x-axis, it has no solution. And then here, it crosses at 0 and at 4. And that's what you have to do. So if you end up graphing it and then finding the solution, after you graph it, you look for where it crosses the x-axis. And remember, on a t-chart, you would always look for when y is 0. Because when y is 0, for example, this one, that point right there is 3, 0. So if you were doing it in a graphing calculator, if you graphed an equation, you would look at the y column on your table to see where the zeros are. And then that x value would be your x-intercept or the solution to those equations. Good luck. I'm Squared, signing out.